All right, we are here at the house. When was the last time we've done an update? Uh, it's been a month. Has it been a month? Uh, but a lot has happened. Shall we go in and do a little tour? Well, first, uh, let's show you what's in the backyard real quick. Oh yeah, that's the most exciting thing. We have this big thing that Poppy would call the tub. She calls every pool the tub now, but it is in. We'll show you how this got literally brought back here. It got craned in. And when we were on the main road, we were like, wait, is that our pool? We saw it coming. It came from Nashville, Tennessee. Pretty cool. Did we tell the story about changing the colors? We can do that later, but did we tell that yet? We didn't, so that's a whole flipping story. But our pool is here. And like I said, Poppy calls it a big tub. Should I get inside to show you how deep it is? Let's go. Okay, so this is the lounging pad. That'll be good for like the babies. And then you got two steps down. Oh, this is kind of deep right here. Like what, the water, you're like about right here? For Josh should be, <laughs> just kidding. And then the further I go, <laughs> the deeper it gets. Is it really this deep? I can't see Josh anymore. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta show my point of view. This is hilarious. <laughs> There's Josh. <gasps> That's really funny. Um, and there's, <laughs> should we come back this way? Come this way. <laughs> there's ledges on the edge here. Um, it's seven foot deep. Um, so yeah, crazy. And it looks white, but Josh is saying it's gonna turn blue. I don't understand how that's gonna happen. There's like blue little specks in here, if you can see. Can you see it? Um, isn't water clear though? I don't know how, Josh is like, it's gonna make it blue, it's gonna be blue. And we have salt water, I don't know if that makes a difference. Does that make a difference? All right, let's see. <laughs> is it taller, the ledge is taller than you. <laughs> There's these little blue flakes in here. So when it is filled up with water, it's gonna look like a, um, turquoisey blue. It's gonna look really pretty. And we're so glad we changed pool colors last minute. Um, literally within like a week before it was supposed to come. So it was a whole thing, but let's go inside. All right, come on inside. I don't think really much has changed. Oh, appliances are in, but they've seen the cabinets, right? I'm just gonna act like you guys haven't seen anything because I personally don't remember, but here is our home. Now the washer and dryer will not be staying right here. There is a laundry room. Um, all of our appliances got delivered, which is really cool. Josh does all the laundry, so I don't know why I'm acting like I'm really happy about these. He's gonna do it all. <laughs> so if anyone's curious, we have the Samsung Bespoke uh, series dishwasher. Fridge. Fridge. Washer dryer. Washer dryer. <laughs> there you go. We got it all. So come over me. Come over with me. <laughs> over here. Oh yeah, this just got put on our island. If you notice, everything in this house stays the same. Like we didn't do different tile. Well, I should say we. Josh didn't do. Josh designed this whole house. I'm a very go with a flow type person. I have like I don't really care. Um, we have the same style, so I trusted his um, aesthetic. And we have like the same countertops, we have the same tile, we have the same flooring. So like everything is just, would you say symmetry? Like symmetry, same, I don't know. What would, you designed it. You, cohesive. Cohesive, there you go. So yes, this is our island, but I really like it. It's like the waterfall, they call it. So it goes on the side. We'll have dining, or we'll have like uh, parcels here. And then um, we kept debating if we wanted to put the stove over here, if we wanted to put the sink over here, but Josh, is the cook <laughs> of the house. So he made the executive decision and I'm really happy with it to leave this clean in one big space. So we can have this as like, when we host, you know, you have your full counter space. And then we have this, Josh picked this crazy thing out, an in induction, induction, I got it right. Um, cooktop, would you like to take over here? Cause I, I know nothing about them. Yeah, I'll take over here, hold it. Here we go. So welcome to my kitchen. Yes, as Abby explained, uh, we have an induction cooktop uh, by Monogram. And um, this is a flush mount, so it's gonna get set in here even a little nicer and um, it's gonna look really clean and flush with the countertop. 
And you'll see too uh, around the kitchen, we have these little cir circular guys um, as outlets and they're really cool. So if you come over here on this side of the island. Now, one of the things that just gives me the ick <laughs> are outlets that are like just on the side of an island or even in your house. They're just ugly, they're outdated. So here's what we did on this island, as you can see here. It's called 22 Systems. We need to center these a little more. We'll get there, but how cool is that? It's cut out of the quartz and seamlessly into your kitchen island right there. So for convenience, and let's just say, as Josh said, they have to be centered more. Josh goes down to the millimeter, what's smaller? Millimeter, centimeter? Millimeter. Literally down to the tiniest, if it's little bit, if it's not centered, it throws him off. So everything in this house has to be completely centered. It's all worth it in the end. It, it took me a while to be like, Josh, it's fine. Like, just let it go. But now seeing it together, I'm like, you, you're right, everything looks so much better when it's straight, centered, and even. And here's our bespoke Samsung fridge, pretty cool, super clean, um, plenty of space for us and what we need. And again, to Abby's point, making this just kind of like an open thing, we were gonna put a sink here and then we were gonna put the cooktop here because as you can see over there, we're gonna have a fireplace and TV above. Uh, but it just made more sense to keep this a giant, nice open area, work table I can cut here while I watch TV and what have you. The um, appliance that I'll be using the most <laughs> is right here. I love a good microwave. Josh is not a fan of microwaves, so he put this in for me, strictly for me. How do you open it? I don't even know. Did we figure it out? No, yeah, that doesn't open it. How do you open it? This is too fancy for me. Where's my, I just need a 1999 microwave. Seriously, how do you open it? Okay, so that brings that down. Oh. oh my God, that's cool. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Dreams do come true. <laughs> Can you tell I grew up in a household that we literally got like the cheapest microwave ever? And make sure, oh, yep, there you go. Look at that. Dude, my mom's gonna freak out over this. Okay, now shut the panel. That is. One more time. Oh, that's, this is the craziest microwave. <laughs> wow. This is our double wall oven. Obviously it's not set yet. So they'll be getting to that and it will go in this section here, nice and flush. And then in here, I still have to get my little step stool, uh, but this <laughs> is where all my little food's gonna be. And this is my little coffee station. We'll have cups up here. So this was one of the first rooms I think we showed. So you guys see it's pantry, not much. Oh, but we have lights now. Look at that light. That's very cool. Noise. And then here is Josh's dungeon closet. This is where, he's, <laughs> where, I, where I drop him. People say that uh, Josh is kept captive, so that's where he sleeps. This will probably be where we put our water thing. You know, where we fill up our water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably cool. just put it right there. All right, cool. Now as we head upstairs, Right now we're in a ranch style home and I'm not used to steps. So this will be a fun little workout. One of my favorite designs of the whole home are the windows, which they're not finished yet, but like this, our whole wall was a window. I don't want to show it yet because what the blinds and everything is, like when we do the, like the official reveal, it'll be really pretty. Um, I think we showed my closet. Here's closet. Um, this is unreal. Josh designed the whole thing. I don't even know how I'm gonna fill this up, but um, it's really cool. They were, <laughs> this is um, a new design feature, just hanging lights, the industrial feel. Um, no, they, they took them down, why? Because they painted? Yeah, I think it's they painted. Now let's go into the bathroom. I think we have a little more in there right now. All right, do the lights work? There we go. We have some hanging, I don't even know if that's making a difference. But we have a countertop now. We have two faucets. I was like, what do you call these? <laughs> a big mirror will be here. Don't know how we're reaching this. How are we gonna reach this? <laughs> we had some issues in here. We had the, the shower was done and then we had a little issue, um, but it's getting fixed. So hopefully um, this will be done. I feel like this room is oh <laughs> taking the longest because this tile is so big. Like, this is one piece of tile. Um, and 
our tile guy, is that the proper term? He did such an amazing job to make sure this was aesthetically how Josh wanted it. Um, and we're really happy with it. So, um, as you can see here, our railing is in. The blue tape will not be here uh, when we move in, but um, we had to pivot a little bit um, for safety and for code. Um, so what we ended up having to do is this uh, three inch base here, which looks really good. Um, originally, we were gonna have the glass end of the floor, but structurally, um, we didn't have anything set up underneath for like steel structure or anything like that to be able to hold this. So we pivoted, but it looks really nice. Um, we had to do a, a top cap rail for code as well. But it um, matches the doors. The it doors. matches the doors here and it looks really nice. So Wow, it really does. Matte black doors, the matte black glass here. And, and then the windows. And the windows and safety first with two children and this is super secure, so. Literally, my biggest fear right now is Poppy has no fear. I could see her seeing our couch down there and being like, mom, watch this, and jumping from this railing. So I don't know, how, can we put a net up here? Like, like a net right here to the ceiling? I think it'd be cool if we somehow put a slide in here. A what? Like a sl we drilled a hole through the glass or took a glass panel out and made a slide. Down to the couch? We should have done something like that. Maybe, is it too late? Yes. Or, Josh, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? Welcome to the bathroom. We finally have our wall hung toilets. Um, one of my favorite features of the home. Super happy with that. And um, this bathroom is pretty much Complete. So this is what all the bathrooms are kind of going to look like. We have these awesome matte black fixtures, white countertop, white sink, and then we have these really cool white push buttons, which I'm super psyched about. They look really clean and uh, they're a lot more functional than your original ones that go down there that like at the end of like a year, they all look all messed up and junky. So these look really clean. The toilet just looks so low to the ground. <laughs> yes, but it is standard height. We got these cool push buttons to flush. I think that's for like, if you take a big poop, you hit the big button and- You uh, take a little poopy, hit the little button. A little poopy, that's a little button. So let's try it out. I don't know. Is it flush? I don't know. No. It's not hooked up yet. <laughs> All right, let's go. Alrighty, so this house has been like a year in the works. We broke ground officially in July and we are so privileged to be doing this and so grateful we never Very thought like we'd ever be doing this in our lifetime. Um, Josh decided to order a black pool and I wasn't like thinking anything of it. The color was called like dark blue or something. And it was, uh, it was black. Yeah, it was it basically was black. black. Um, and I thought like, okay, cool. And then we got a message. Ebony blue was the color. Yeah. And then we got a message from our landscaper who was like, your pool is coming in in a week. And then this one decides to show me the pool we got. And I was like, wait, like that's our pool. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, it's really cool for adults, but like to have children, this pool is not for us. It's yeah. for our children. It's for our kids and their friends. And like, we want to be able to have people come to our house and we want to host things. Anyway, it's black. Like you can't see the bottom of the pool. I'm like, it looked like, what'd you say? Like lake water? Well, it looks like a body of water and it looks cool in some context, like online. Natural. It looks like neat and they have it in these really cool settings. And I'm just thinking here in Pennsylvania, we only have so many months out of the year. And when you go to your pool, you want it to feel like summer. You want it to feel like you're not in Pennsylvania. So I pivoted again, <laughs> as we do a lot in this We've house. We've changed everything um, in this because house. Because it's, you know, one decision and that's, you have to live with it. So it can be a lot of pressure, but I'm so glad we were able to make this swap happen like last minute, like a week, a week away from getting delivered. And we went with a new color they just came out with. <laughs> the complete opposite. Complete opposite. That's what literally with this house, <laughs> I'm finding this one hates making, you get anxiety. Uh, we know Josh anxiety in general, but like to make that final decision and he knows it's permanent. Pressure. So I understand why he wants everything perfect. But we literally, he went complete opposite. We had a black pool, as you see now, we now have a white pool. <laughs> well, it's like, it's gonna look blue. Let's but it's that. literally the complete opposite, but we are so happy yep. we made that decision. And if you're watching this and have a dark pool, we love it. We just know like Poppy would never get in that pool and swim. Yeah. Like she can't see the bottom. My niece would never get into it. So, like, and when we, so we went to Joshua Tree and we mm -hmm. got a lot of inspiration there. We stayed in a house there, um, but we went to Palm Springs and stuff. And I'm just thinking like, I kept closing my eyes and like pretending I was like in my backyard, my future backyard. And every time I did, I imagined the pool was just like this bright palm, you know, Palm blue. Springs blue 
just chilling. And we had black. And we had black. So it's really, we're so happy we were able to make the switch. And I think we're going to love the light color. You can see the crystal clear water. Um, and just for safety reasons for too. Safety. For We were like, we just, I don't know, just safety, safety reasons. And um, we still haven't finalized how the pool is going. If yeah. you've been following me on Instagram, you know that was like a big topic. Everyone was in, in invested in it. And we still don't know if it's going long ways this way, where the pool house is going. So maybe that could be our next video, trying to figure that out. The layout. <laughs> the layout. Yeah. So um, <laughs> We can't make a decision. We got to make a decision on that. But we have so, we have a little bit of time because we got to get the back of the house finished. But um, we hope you guys like this updated tour. Appliances are kind of in. Things are happening. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by next month, uh, we'll be doing a move-in tour. That so. would be... That'd be my birthday. It's, it's yes. literally the, my birthday present. That'd be huge. But not getting my hopes up. I'm trying to be like, oh, it's not going to happen. So when it does happen, I'm like, yay. But then how are we going to move? I'm not sure, but <laughs> oh, God, um, I don't even... we'll figure that out. But I'm going to, we have this, actually, we have this really cool feature here. Let me pull it up. And this is a secret way. And we'll see you guys later downstairs. <laughs> I don't like you at all. <laughs> Bye. I want to build a home. Face the thought of being